like it, Ralph. She's back there, Rob. I don't like it. <laughs> Rob, this isn't funny. What are you doing? Rob. Behind her eyes is the gripping psychological thriller on Netflix, but how does it differ from the book? Who cares about your marriage? There's always more pills for that! Behind Her Eyes was released earlier this month on Netflix and has been shocking subscribers ever since. The series is based on the best-selling novel written by author Sarah Pinbora which came out in 2017. So how is the book different from the series? He had an affair. To discuss the two versions of her story. Behind Her Eyes tells the story of married couple oh, David, dear. played by Tom Bateman, and Adele Ferguson, Eve Hewson. I don't suppose you fancy going for a coffee? Oh. I mean if you have the time. David meets Louise Barnsley, Simona Brown, on a night out where they share a kiss, but later it is discovered that he is her new boss. Bit of said the right purpose. <laughs> hey, you're funny. I remember that. Louise then meets his wife Adele and they become friends, so the series focuses on their strange love triangle. However, there is far more than what meets the eye as Adele teaches Louise how to control her dreams. You're all a lot older than me and kind of stuck up if I'm honest. How is Behind Her Eyes the book different from the Netflix series? While Pinborough is the creator of Behind Her Eyes, she sold the rights for the idea so Netflix could transform it into the series. This meant writer Steve Lightfoot was put in charge of turning her novel into the thriller. When asked about the differences between the book and the show, Pinborough said, story-wise, it's very, very faithful. What else happens? I mean the book is told in the first-person perspective, so it's a lot of internal monologues which your writer Stephen Lightfoot has had to externalize. So we see a lot of the things they talk about. Pinborough continued, but it's very close, there are a few bits where they have had to be a bit more obvious about with the clues. Funny. What are you doing? Rob. I'm sorry. Because obviously TV is fast, but they're still not obvious. I think with the book, it was easier to hide things, but they've done it really well. So in terms of the actual plot, there doesn't seem to have been many things changed. But there is a difference in the character of Louise who is portrayed by actress Simona Brown. Pinborough explained, my Louise was a little bit overweight, Simona Brown is drop dead gorgeous, but what she's got well is Louise's ditziness and being a bit uncomfortable in her own skin. It's fine. Please. And I think actually it's so much better they've cast someone who isn't dowdy and whatever, because when I wrote the book, I immediately went to women's normal insecurities. I want to lose a bit of weight, I want to give up drinking. But actually that's a bit non-feminist these days, and had I written it now, I would have given her more interesting insecurities. You've always said you hate boats. Maybe I've changed. Adele, now in Louise's body, then made her former friend overdose, making it look like it was really Adele who had been killed. But in a shocking twist, it was revealed Adele had actually been murdered a decade prior as she swapped bodies with friend Rob, Robert Arameo. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> he then drugged Adele, now in Rob's body, and threw her down a well so he could be with David. Sadly, the show is a limited series, so it doesn't seem like there is going to be a season two. Maybe I've changed.